In this video, I'll show you how to do the freeze frame effect. Now, the reason that you want to do the freeze frame effect is that you may want to highlight a certain character or certain thing in that video. It could be a person, it could be some stop action, or it could also be an animal. So let's dive into the screen and I'll show you how to do that. Now, of course, the first thing that you want to do is to select the right footage. Now, I have on screen here a footage of a motorcycle and probably this is shot with a drone and it's very impressive, I have to say. And uh, now, I've come to this point that I think that this is the shot that I want to use. Now, in shortcut, what you want to do now is actually just to go up to the file and uh, export the frame. But let us just uh, zoom in a little bit closer and see which is the best shot uh, that you want to use. Okay, so let's say this is the shot that I want to use. I'm just going to go up to File, Export Frame, and then I'm going to export this as uh, MC Frame 3. Okay, so this is my MC Frame 3. And next, what you want to do is to bring that frame back into a shortcut. Okay, so do remember where you save that file, otherwise you couldn't locate it, so I know that it is here. Okay, and then uh, back at your timeline, what you want to do now is to split that timeline, and then you want to just move, move it the, away, and then you can bring in your clip back onto your timeline. Now, depending on the effect that you want, this, uh, if you're happy with it, basically that's about it. Uh, depending on the effect, uh, you may want to lengthen it or shorten it, so that's up to you. Uh, if you want to make it a little bit more uh, exciting, there's a few things that you can do. Okay, so one of it is to add some filters. Now I'm going to do all this in shortcut, so let's just add a size and position filter here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to keyframe this and make a slow zoom in for that effect. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm here, and I just want to have a, a slow zoom. Uh, this is what it looks like right now. Okay, all right, so normally for kind of hero shots, people like to add some text, and uh, you can also choose to desaturate it. So I'm going to add some text over here uh, quickly. Now, if you're not sure how to add text, do check out my video on how to use a shortcut. Uh, it's actually quite a long, much longer tutorial that will show you how to add text. But uh, to keep this video short, I'm just going to add the text and uh, fast forward this section here. Now next, of course, you can choose to desaturate it or do some other things uh, to make that uh, file uh, even more interesting. Uh, in the earlier clip that you saw, what I've done is actually I've taken uh, the freeze frame and put it into another software to remove the background so that uh, you see that uh, yellow uh, background. Okay, now uh, that can't be done in shortcut, you have to use a different software, maybe you want to use a GIMP or any of the other free software online. Basically the idea is that you take the frame, uh, you can manipulate it, maybe you want to rotate it or you want to desaturate the color and put it back into a shortcut in this case, and then uh, you will have that freeze frame effect. I hope that you found this video helpful, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and uh, do check out uh, the next video on the screen right now to help you use shortcut even better.